Hello, and welcome to this Twilio tutorial series. Twilio is amazing, but for us developers, it can sometimes be intimidating to know where to start. When I'm learning a new technology, I like to start from the beginning, learning the most common use cases, and then gradually building my knowledge. Now, in this tutorial series, we'll be going through a set of tutorials that will help you learn the basic concepts of using Twilio messaging to create dynamic user experiences. We'll start by learning how to send, reply to, and track messages. And after we've learned how to use that with SMS messages, we'll extend our messaging skills to communicate programmatically using WhatsApp. And last but not least, we'll be building a fun project that will bring all of these together, kind of like a Power Rangers Megazord, and cover how different parts of Twilio messaging can all work together. But most importantly, by the end of this series, you'll be able to add programmable messaging to any of your applications to build really cool interactions. We'll be starting from the very beginning, so don't worry if you don't have a lot of experience with coding with Twilio. I would like to request that you have a basic understanding of the web and how it works, but even if you've just written your first hello world in any programming language, I'll walk you through how to get from there to writing your own Twilio application. Now, if you're a touch behind on these requirements, check out the description of the video below. I've dropped some links on where to get started. Each of these videos has a load of information in the description. Now, this includes links to the completed code that we write and also links to other useful documentation. These videos are on demand, so take advantage of that. Feel free to repeat a section or hit pause while you catch up in your editor. I'm here to help you succeed. Twilio has great docs for all of these technologies and not everyone learns the same way. So don't forget to check the Twilio documentation for more information or to see more examples. Now, I'll be using JavaScript and Node.js for my examples throughout this video course, but everything I built can be recreated in your favorite programming language. Now, as we go through these videos, I'll be dropping a link to the docs with the code examples in other languages. You can just pick your language of choice and follow along. Now, before you head over to the next video and start coding, you're going to need a Twilio account to get started. Head over to the link in the description to sign up for your new free Twilio account. And if you haven't yet upgraded your account, here's a promo code to give you some free credit to get started. Make sure you do that and I will see you in the next video.